hello everyone and welcome back to my channel today we have a very exciting video we are doing my skincare routine this is going to be a lot of fun and i hope this can help some people who might be on accutane or considering accutane and what it takes to keep my skin the way it is and healing so if that sounds like something you would enjoy let's get started and also don't forget to subscribe because that directly supports me and my channel and we are on our journey to 1000 followers we are at 109 right now I know we can get it higher. Come be a part of this little growing family that we have and let's get started. Good morning everyone. Today we are going to start out my skincare routine and I am going to start out with washing my face. I currently use these two cleansers. So I have almost gone through this one as you can see. We're over halfway. I really enjoy this one. So this is the original CeraVe Hydrating Facial Cleanser, and this is good if you're feeling really dry, but I actually like this one. This is a new formula because it kind of like suds up and bubbles up, so I've been really enjoying this one. So I'm gonna wet my face and wash my face real quick. I forgot I had this cute little headband. Okay, now we're good to go. <laughs> Here's what it looks like, and then I'm gonna kind of just like rub it in my palms together get it kind of lathered up and then wash my face i really enjoy this cleanser i just didn't i didn't like this one because it just doesn't like you know that i don't want to say soap feeling but like that clean feeling you get after you wash your face from like a typical cleanser i didn't like that hydrating one because it just didn't like it didn't make my face feel clean. Guys, so I rinsed all of that cleanser off and now I'm just gonna pat my face. So my next step is going to be put on moisturizer. I try to keep my routine very simple, especially while I'm on Accutane. I'm just trying to let the medicine do its thing and work into my skin and I don't wanna like overload it with too many things that might make me break out. So I just keep my routine very simple. If I put on makeup, I'll add a couple more steps, but I just keep it really simple. So I am going to use this CeraVe moisturizing lotion. I have this big tub. This is unscented and it's just like a nice thick cream, but I use something thicker for nighttime. I don't want anything too thick during the day just because if I put makeup on or if I layer sunscreen, I don't want anything to peel. So this seems to work great. And it's a thicker cream, but it does go well under makeup. So that's why I use this one. I'm just gonna take like a decent sized glob of it and just tap it up all over my face and my neck and my chest. You gotta go all the way down your neck and your chest. And then I'm just gonna rub it in. My headband is slowly like riding up my head. <laughs> and any excess you have, I just rub into my hands. While you're on Accutane, you have to moisturize. You have to, or else you're just gonna be a cracked desert. You're gonna be a cracked desert and you're gonna feel dry and it's not gonna be good, so just Moisturize, moisturize, moisturize. I don't want peeling to happen, so I'm just gonna let it sit in and soak into my skin and do its thing. I am gonna go grab the Aquaphor real quick and I'll be right back. What do you, <laughs> what do you wanted to say good morning also? Say hello. His little tooth. <laughs> All right, you guys. I'm not sure if it's the last vlog or the vlog before, but I got this cup from World Market, this like swirly one, or I guess it's like, water marbling and I love it. Also, while you're doing your skincare, you can sip on coffee and just enjoy the moment. It's your little time to yourself to just um, take care of yourself and take care of your skin. So I think it's it's okay if you wanna like sip some coffee or some tea, even water, and just kind of take care of yourself. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. <laughs> I tell you guys to wash your hands. You want your hands to be clean and ready to go because if you're touching your face with your hands and your hands are dirty or oily and you're putting everything onto your skin. So make sure your hands are clean beforehand. Okay guys, so next I am going to go in with my sunscreen. 
This is just a um, sunscreen and it has kind of a glow to it. It says it protects against blue light and pollution. Um, and then it has probiotics to help hydrate and prevent water loss, help strengthen the skin barrier, which is also good, especially during Accutane because uh, my skin barrier is pretty damaged right now. And then it has um, pineapple and papaya to help promote even skin tone. Um, and yeah, so I really like it. And this is what I found really wears well under my makeup. Can you see the shimmer in it? Kind of. <laughs> and it kind of does have a funky smell to it, but it kind of goes away after a while. It's funny because I actually got this in a, not Sephora, I got this in an Ulta sampler and I tried it and I ended up really liking it. And yeah, I might need to reapply it a little bit more because it is an SPF 30, but I feel even on Accutane and being very sensitive to the sun, I feel like it does protect me and it goes under makeup well and it doesn't make me feel like heavy. I hate the heavy sunscreen feel, like I hate it. <laughs> so. I really like how this feels and you kind of just massage it into your skin and go all the way down your chest, all the way down here, all the way down your neck. You need sunscreen everywhere. Can you guys kind of see the sheen? Like I said, it dissolves nicely into the face. There's no peeling. It wears beautifully under makeup. It feels really lightweight. So I really enjoy it. I'm always open to new suggestions for sunscreen that don't leave a white cast. So if you guys have any other suggestions, let me know. But this is just what I use. This is the Tula Skincare uh, Probiotics and Superfoods SPF. For my final step, I am on Accutane. So my lips are literally always cracking, always dry, no matter how much uh, like product you put on it, you have to keep them moisturized. So I'm gonna go in with Aquaphor. This is the healing ointment. This is just like the plain tube of it where you would use on your body. Don't get like the lip, um, the lip ones because it doesn't work as well. Just get the tube of it. Take a little bit of this, like that much. And then I'm just gonna dab it on my lips. So here's a little like pro tip for anybody who might be on Accutane right now. Just dab it on your lips. Don't like rub, 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 rub because it's just, it's just gonna dissolve it. You wanna keep that moisture barrier on your lips. So just dab. And don't rub too much. I did this in the first month of Accutane and I was like, why does it feel like the Aquaphor is not working? It's because I was rubbing my lips too much. Okay everyone, so that is my morning routine. It is very simple. There's not many products. Um, I found what I like and I just like to do that. And when I am off Accutane, I would like to incorporate some serums and things like that. But right now I'm just really trying to give my skin the time to heal. So I don't wanna cake on too many products. But yeah, I just keep it really simple. I do my moisturizer, my cleanser, and my sunscreen. And I really don't do much else than that. I don't like, I just don't wanna like freak my skin out. And it seems to be working for me. Let's keep it short and sweet and simple and not over complicate it. And this is what's been working for me. So I'll see you in my next skincare step hello everyone so i just got off of work and i wanted to show you guys this little step in my skincare routine when i am working or when i am wearing makeup because i have to take my makeup off somehow so i'm going to remove my glasses and take my hair down you can see where my glasses rubbed off my makeup that's okay Right, I'm gonna put my hair back. The first thing that I'm gonna do is go in with my cleansing balm. I don't know why I didn't use a cleansing balm until now, but like I would use makeup wipes and certain things and it just like doesn't remove makeup the way a cleansing balm does. So I'm gonna use the Bad Habit, the OMZZZ Asai Nightly Cleansing Balm. This stuff is really good and I like it. I just take a little bit like this and kind of rub it in my palms. And then I put it on my face. You just rub in circular motions. And it is purple. And this just helps to break up the makeup and it softens your skin and hydrates you. I really enjoy this. And I wish I would have known about it a while ago. So the forehead, I had makeup all the way down my neck. So we gotta go down the neck. You kind of just like go in circular motions. And 
another reason I take off my makeup right after I get off of work because I'm gonna go work out and we're doing leg day. It's gonna be really sweaty. I don't wanna have a layer of makeup on my face while I'm working out that'll just make me break out and things will just be gross. So I'd rather just take it off. So it's gonna look a little crazy. I know I have mascara on my forehead, eyeshadow on my cheeks, but it's all a part of the process. I am going to rinse it off real quick and I'll show you what it looks like after. So this is how I look right now. I am going to grab my cleanser, same one as before, do a pump of that, and then we are going to wash this off. I want to note that, so that pretty much took off most of my makeup. There still is a little bit of it, but like that cleansing balm just does such a great job of taking off the makeup. So, and then I just go in with my cleanser and it's just clean. My skin feels clean. It's nice and clean. There's no leftover residue. Oh, and also this cleansing balm hasn't broken me out. Even when I first started using it, you know how there's like a wait period of time where you try a product and it, it could break you out? This never broke me out. So I'm really happy about it. I like it a lot. I'm going to rinse this off and then we will be done with this step. Okay, so we're just going to pat dry with a towel. We are ready to work out. Now I am going to wash my face. Usually I will have done this in the shower after my workout, but because I can't film and shower, I'm just gonna wash my face in the sink and then I'm gonna shower and then I'll do my skincare, my nighttime skincare after. So let's do that real quick. I'm gonna go in with the same cleanser. So I'm going to rinse this off real quick. Okay, going to dry. So my face is all clean. I'm gonna hop in the shower and then when I'm out of the shower, we can do the rest of my nighttime skincare routine. Currently in the place that I do my skincare every night. So I am lazy and tired by the end of the night and I just want to slap on my skincare and go to bed or watch TV or do whatever. So um, we're gonna do my skincare in my bed tonight. The Ultra Repair Cream Intense Hydration First Aid Beauty and um, Taylor Wynn actually recommended this when she was on her Accutane journey, but I have been using this and this has been a lifesaver for my dermatitis. I actually had a big rash on my neck this month with the Accutane and I was able to use this and some just like more lotion and it was able to clear up the rash. So um, I highly recommend this if you guys are on Accutane, if you start getting any eczema or patchy skin. Um, I know this is like $40, but compared to the cream the doctor prescribed me, which was $400, I'd rather pay for this. So let's put this on. Also, I'm wearing my lamb pajamas. They're actually joggers. My favorite animal is a lamb. You know, you, some of you guys might be surprised and think that a pug is my favorite animal, but actually, a lamb is. I always go over my lips. Whatever I have left over. I put on my hands because my hands are dry. Everything is dry when you're on Accutane. So while we have this jar open, I go over because this is skincare and we have skin everywhere. So I have a couple of patches of dermatitis on my skin, like there's a patch right here. Um, so I'm gonna go over with some of the first aid lotion and just really rub it in and give it some hydration. I got a bad patch right here. So I had this patch right here. Um, it almost, so my lips are always like cracked and dry and I, it's almost like it spread right here on my face. It was the weirdest thing. And then the other night I doubled up on this stuff and then I put the aquaphor like all the way right here and it seemed to really heal it up. So I was really happy in the morning when it went away because I had just put this on it, but then this really like locked in the moisture and it was able to help it. So we have all of the First Aid Beauty Cream on and I layer that in thick. And then the next time I go every other day, I do um, rose hip seed oil and this helps with hydration and also acne scars and I think it also helps with fine lines. Um, Taylor Wynn swears by this and she still uses the rose hip seed oil. 
Um, I don't do it every day because I just noticed that my acne was healing quicker if I didn't use too much of this. And this is like potent. So just use like one or two drops, honestly. One, two. Then I'm just gonna put it on like this. You don't wanna touch the dropper to your skin or else you'll contaminate it. Yeah, I use the rose hip seed oil just to help with the acne scars. I still have quite a bit of acne scarring, um, so that's why I use it. Now, I'm going to go in with some lotion. You can use any type of body lotion. Um, I had a vino, I ran out of it, so I'm just using this. And I am going to lather my all my arms with this because they're extremely dry right now realize how much your skin is affected and not only your face but like oh like see there's another patch of dermatitis right here just realize like how much your skin is affected you guys see this patch on my arm and right here that's dermatitis okay guys so for my final step of my nighttime skincare routine we are going to layer on the aquaphor on our lips and anywhere where we might be having some issues i think i'm gonna dab some here and here and wherever i might have some really like irritated areas in my skin so let's do that if you guys are on accutane i think it's really important to know that it is okay to use drugstore products like pretty much all my products except the first aid beauty cream which i feel like this is an investment um, while i'm on accutane because it helps it really does help and heal when i have the really bad dry flaky skin but other than this other than this cream everything i have bought has been from the drugstore i feel like you like accutane is already so expensive i feel like you don't need to go and buy the most expensive things like my CeraVe cleansers those were like 10 to 14 dollars this was like 10 dollars the rose hip seed oil and this is not even necessary you can get any type of body moisturizer oh my sunscreen my sunscreen is more expensive but i'm just kind of picky with sunscreen i know that Aveeno has some sunscreens you can use you can use simple things and i i think it works best this video was a suggestion that I did from one of my wonderful subscribers, so I wanted to say thank you for that, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Alrighty guys, I hope you enjoyed the skincare routine, and if you have any questions, put them in the comments below, and I'm happy to answer them for you. If you have any video suggestions, also put those in the comments below, because I really appreciate those. I appreciate all the support. Don't forget to subscribe, and I hope you guys have the best day. Bye!